Okay, hi Tiffany, how you doing? So I think this is really awesome thinking. I love the background. I love, I, this is cool the way that you're creating this narrative um, and the background is part of it. And that's awesome. And that's really what I'm trying to get you guys to think about um, when you're putting this, this composition together. So, so that's a great job there, good thinking. Does it work? I, I'm not feeling it. I, I don't think it's quite there yet. And I, and, I, and I think there's a couple of things I think are gonna make sense to you. So just give me a second, let me explain this, okay? So the first thing is that why, I mean, I, I know I'm talking realistically here, but I, and we're talking about a creature made out of fruit, which doesn't sound realistic. But my point is you have this creature sitting on a basket on the street looking at a sign that has his name as Famous Fruit Fred. So you're kind of putting together the, yeah, he's surprised because he's the lunch special. But what if you were to take this and put him inside a restaurant, actually sitting at a table or even, at, you know, on a table or some somewhere, you know, inside a restaurant where he's looking over his shoulder, seeing this sign. Do you see what I'm saying? So in other words, you move this inside where there's people around so it would make sense that there's a, a sign and that he would be sitting there and then have you know can you have him facing this way so his feet are kind of out this way and he's looking back that way at the sign um I, you know I, I i'm not saying this would this sign would work i think that it's too close in proximity there's not enough foreground but what i'm getting at is you put him in the foreground have him looking over his shoulder at the sign going whoa you know he i'm the lunch special you know and i think it's really cute and really clever and i think it'll work um so think about that in terms of your your file itself, let's let's jump over here and take a look at um, where are your whoops your layers. Where are your layers? Oh, there's your layers right there. Okay, sorry about that. Anyway, um, so your layers are looking great. Good job getting rid of the the stuff that you're not using. I think there's still one layer here to. Yeah, there's one layer here that you want to get rid of. So, um, excellent job. I think, honestly, I think the creature's a little bit, still a little underdeveloped. I'm not sure what, these kind of look like genie feet. You know what I'm saying? Those kind of curly feet. I, I don't, those aren't working. I think um, the banana here that's just kind of tucked under behind his arm just kind of ends like that. Try to make that a little more realistic, like the banana's coming out the side of the pear for his arm. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, Try to give, you know, some pupils and little things. So like, I, I remember I was saying eyes, nose, ears, toes, or something like that. I went like, um, so keep that in mind when you're moving forward. So anyways, I think you're doing a great job. And um, keep it up. Okay, any questions? Give me a holler. Thanks.